What's up guys? Today I will show you an application of a ring resonator. In last video, I illustrated how to design a ring resonator and simulated it in CST. In this video, I will use one of my ring to measure the permittivity, which is also called as a dielectric, which is also called as a dielectric constant of a known material by this ring resonator. In order to use this ring to extract the complex permittivity of the material under test, we need to do three things. First, design a ring working at the desired frequency range. Second, measure the resonant frequency, insertion loss, and the Q factor of the ring. Third, measure the resonant frequency, insertion loss, and the Q factor of the ring when it is covered by the material under test. These parameters can help us extract the relative permittivity and the 10D of the material under test. I have a ring working at around 5 GHz and the permittivity of the substrate is a 6 and the loss tangent is a 0.0023. These information are important when we extract the results. This BNA has been calibrated in 3.5 to 5.1 GHz by the short open load through method. We can use marker to find the 3 dB bandwidth and the Q factor. Let's wrote down the resonant frequency, insertion loss, and the Q factor. When we put this material under test on top of the ring. Similarly, write down the resonant frequency, insertion loss, and Q factor. That's it. We can use these parameters to calculate the relative permittivity and the 10D of this sample. There are also some other methods can be used to measure the permittivity and the loss factor of the dielectrics. But I personally prefer this method over others, such as a cavity perturbation or through reflection method. As a resonant method, it is accurate, and we have already noticed the measurement procedure is pretty simple and quick. Thanks for your watching and hope this video can inspire you.